Hello, good afternoon. Um, that's actually, oh, it's not afternoon, it's still 11 a.m. Um, I just got off at Stratford Station. I'm gonna go and meet my friend. And it's actually really sunny weather up until just now. Uh, when I started talking, like the sun just disappeared. But I don't know, I'm expecting it to be pretty nice weather. I'm gonna be heading out for brunch and then catch a movie afterwards. So that'll be fun. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later probably when we head out to the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, so we just sat down in Jamie's Italian and we're about to have lunch, so I'll show you what I got. <laughs> Um, it's already pretty late at night and I should have vlogged when I got home after watching um, the movie. We watched Jason Bourne because uh, we've been wanting to watch that. I'm not sure why I didn't mention that in the vlog earlier. Um, and I was scared I wouldn't really know the story and I didn't really bother catching up with the first three um, movies. I think there they were, were there three? Um, but I feel like for whoever wants to watch it and hasn't really caught up yet, it's fine. Like, you get the gist of the movie, they give you like flashbacks. I quite like action movies and it's the kind of movies that I like watching. It was definitely a good movie. Uh, yeah, it was my first time like going to Stratford and then like seeing the Westfield Mall and the area was really nice. And the Westfield Mall was really nice. Like, I was happy that I ended up going, but I was stupid to not vlog there just because, you know, I was like with a friend and I felt really awkward about it. But I did manage to talk of it when we were eating, but then I was like so hungry because the food took forever to come out. So I didn't really um, vlog or talk that much. I still have the worst headache ever and it's weird. And I really don't want to be catching like like a fever or anything like that because I had a bit of a fever when I was heading home weird, oddly enough and it was warm weather outside I think that's it for now and hopefully my headache will go away later and yeah <laughs> I made chocolate chia seed, chocolate chia seed pudding um, yesterday and I'm just about to put it into some cups to um, have for breakfast and to also give to mom and dad to try and if they like it I'm going to make another one and include a recipe in my next vlog I assume and yesterday I also made some um, date um, like what's it called energy balls that I put there too and it tasted pretty good um, so I'm gonna try making a recipe and like showing you how I make it um, in my vlog as well next time I didn't really feel like vlogging yesterday so I didn't and for the chocolate chia seed pudding it's been a while since I've made it and I'll just show you me pouring it into the cups and then topping it off So I'm thinking of topping it up with some blueberries as well as some granola. So here I have some blueberries that I just washed up um, and I bought this granola yesterday when heading to Whole Foods. Hopefully it tastes good and I'm not sure what else I should be putting in. I was thinking of putting in pumpkin seeds and all that stuff as well. I might as well do that. Yeah, I'll just grab my thing of pumpkin seeds. So I know it's still pretty early in the day, but I'm just gonna go ahead and prep the ingredients that I need to make um, for the vegetable and lentil dal. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, dal is it? And I saw Naomi, uh, Naomi Smart who uh, posted a what I eat in a day video of her making it. And once I saw it, I was like, Shh, I need to make this. So I did go out grocery shopping yesterday. Hopefully it'll actually turn out good. I think I bought pretty much all the ingredients that she told me to buy apart from like the chili, just because I'm not a fan of chili. 
I just realized that I'm not sure if I, if I have a garlic crusher thing. Might have to do it the manual way, but yeah. I guess I just need to go ahead and try and crush this with a knife. Just because, you know, you can always get just like pre-crushed garlics and all that, but I just want to try and be super healthy and um, consume um, things that are not, you know, soaked in chemicals and all that and preservatives just because um, it's always ha it's always good to have um, all your ingredients that you buy as fresh as you possibly can get them. She recommended that um, to soak the lentils for a couple hours but I think I can just do it in like an hour because I booked a cycling class at 12.30 so I have to be heading out the door by 12 and now it's about 10 a.m. so I'm just gonna yeah I'm just gonna soak it for about maybe an hour more or less so these are about a cup of lentils yeah a cup of red split lentils yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just soak them uh, under some water so here I put on a bit um, like a teaspoon of cumin seeds as well as a teaspoon of mustard seeds which I put amongst the coconut oil so I'm just gonna let that sit in just for a little bit and I'm gonna continue and chop up the vegetables while um, this is just simmering. Just don't, make sure to not leave it in for too long though. Now I'm just going to be putting in this whole can of chopped tomatoes into the mixture. Oh, okay, that spilled a bit. Let's go ahead and mix it. I was actually meant to put in the lentils before the chopped tomatoes, but oh well. I just went ahead and drained them and I'm going to be putting it into the pot. I ended up making quite a lot. Um, this is only a cup's worth. And then when I soaked them, they pretty much um, came out like two or three times the amount because uh, it sprouted, of course. So hopefully it actually fits into the pot here because I have quite a small pan. And if it doesn't, if all of it doesn't fit, then maybe I'll just have to only put half in and then we'll see how it goes. Because afterwards we're gonna be putting in some water. And yeah, I'll just show you. Uh, it's better to show you than to just keep talking like this. So I went ahead and grabbed a thing of water. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour some of that in. Um, so while I let the doll simmer, I'm probably just gonna, you know, tidy up the kitchen, wash the dishes. Ooh, the doll looks nice. Look at just look at that simmer. I'm proud that I'm able to make this. And Naomi, I'm gonna be linking your video um, down below. Um, I haven't been cooking in a while so I feel pretty productive that I've been able to kind of like cook this early in the day and I'm planning to go out for dinner to meet um, someone as well so yeah mm, not sure if there's anything else I'm gonna be planning in between probably not much but I'm pretty proud of myself for cooking this I just don't know if it's gonna be tasting any good Hello. Um, I was meant to do a cycling class um, earlier at 12 30 but you saw me earlier um, make lunch and I think that was pretty time consuming. Before I left, when I was looking at my booking again for the cycling class, I just saw that I booked it at the wrong location. And then they said I could try waitlisting for the next one, which was only half an hour after, which was at 1 p.m. I was like, okay, might as well give it away. When I was waiting by the table, me and another person, we were waiting for the waitlist and we both got the seats. I was talking to the instructor and she was like, um, asking whether like what my name was and I told her that I was waitlisted and I got a seat and there was already someone else there and there were no other seats so ugh, I'm just so annoyed like I thought you know I got pretty good luck with getting a seat despite booking the wrong location so I ended up not going to cycling class and then I already purchased the credits and she offered me to 
book a class for tomorrow instead so tomorrow morning i'm gonna be going back there for a cycling class and now well now i haven't really had lunch yet but i did bring the um vegetable and lentil doll that i made earlier and um, i'm just gonna go eat it now i'm at a park nearby and good thing it's good weather so i'll try to just enjoy the weather have my food uh, i'm kind of annoyed like today started off with such a good start and then middle of the day all these things were happening and i don't know i can't really be bummed about it at least it's pretty decent weather out here <laughs> Good morning, um, I woke up a while ago but I'm just gonna go ahead and make some breakfast and I'm just gonna get some, I'm just gonna you know um, make something light because I'm planning to go to a cycling class later in about an hour from now I have to head out I think and um, I'm just gonna be making an acai bowl so I'm pretty sure I've shown me making it before but I might as well just show you again so I'm just gonna grab one of these acai packs there I bought a Whole Foods actually a few days ago and they're the by the brand Vida Acai and they're pretty good just a bit hard to blend them in the Nutribullet though <laughs> So this is pretty much what I put on top of my acai. Um, I only used one packet because I don't really feel like eating two packets it might be a bit much. Um, I would recommend definitely doing two packets so you can put more coconut water so it's easier to blend into the Nutri Bullet. Um, anyway, I compromised and just put a lot of toppings on it. So of course I put on some blueberries, granola, and top it off with some pumpkin, pumpkin seeds. Sorry. And I'm just gonna go eat it and then get ready to head out. And I'm planning to probably get a um, protein smoothie after working out. So but I'll just go hurry up and eat this and head out. So. Hello. I'm just gonna walk in front of these people. Um, so I just finished from a cycling class and I probably look pretty crappy, but at least I took a shower. And I got me a little protein smoothie. I ended up just going and getting it at the cycle class. The place is called Energy Kitchen uh, for those who want to try the protein smoothies from Cycle. And I took the class, the 11 a.m. class, and the instructor's name was Kristen. Shout out to Kristen. Seriously, that was probably one of the best classes that I've ever been to. It was like so good, like so lit. I don't, know, I don't even say that word. Um, and I was so happy that I was able to keep up because, you know, yesterday if you saw me at the park, I was pretty bummed. I'm so happy that the girl at the reception ended up recommending me to go try the 11 a.m. class with Kristen. She said that Kristen was really good, so anyone who's in London, go to Cycle, take a class with Kristen. You won't regret it. It's so good. Hello. So I already got home a while ago. We were meant to go out for dinner to meet um both my uncle and cousin who are visiting london for a couple days and we saw them last when we were going to Leiden in the netherlands and um, they mentioned that they were stopping by london so of course my dad being the nice person he is was like okay let's meet up and you know we'll go for dinner to an indonesian restaurant which is the same one that i've been to twice already last time i went um was before watching harry potter um with my mom with mom's uni friends so of course we um, are going there because my uncle um, is a chef and he is a chef of an Indonesian restaurant. So of course he wants to try and explore other Indonesian restaurants pretty much all over. And you know, it was probably the best place for us to take him there. It's just that we've already been there twice. And well, I've already been there twice. Mom and dad have probably been there like uh, way more often. I am most likely going to be ordering the same thing I ordered like last time, the gado gado, probably the sayrode. Um, what else was there? They have they have quite a few vegetarian options. So Indonesian vegetarian food is actually very yummy. I just don't have it often. Since we're going to be going out to meet my um uncle and cousin, of course I need to look somewhat presentable. So I thought I might as well just put on makeup now about the cycling class earlier i'm not sure if i finished talking but seriously 
I need to endorse the um, class again. Anyone who is in London, go to Cycle. Uh, it's in the Oxford Circus location, by the way. I forgot to mention that earlier. Um, at Mortimer Street. And go and take a class with Kristen. She, she is amazing. The music was just so good. She even said that it was one badass playlist and it was a badass playlist. Just, it felt like you were in a freaking rave and I was just very surprised that I had the energy to really follow up um, all the songs and it was just amazing. I am pretty much going to, going to religiously be going to cycle and taking classes with Kristen. And I'm just going to go get ready. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye bye! Heading out for dinner!